Different story in Santa Maria. Hundreds of students there got a live science lesson as they watched the solar eclipse happen. KSBY News reporter Fabiola Ramirez has their reactions. Adam Elementary, as well as three other schools in the district, provided each student with a pair of eclipse glasses. They say this was an event they did not want their students to miss out on. It was an eclipse viewing full of excitement. Wow, the sun is angel's moon. But at first, when all that could be seen was fog. I was thinking the kids are going to miss the biggest thing they probably see in the next 10 years. Still, teachers allowed their students to stay outside and cross their fingers that the sun would peek through. And after a few chants, clouds, clouds, go away. the clouds parted, giving students the view they had been waiting for. Yeah, I can see it! After a while, the sun just started like, like it's just started getting brighter. And then we put these on and we were able to see the moon. They were so excited watching them just light up and us trying to figure out the glasses. <laughs> and it, it was excitement and enthusiasm. This is how learning happens. All day students continue to learn about the solar eclipse through readings, projects and discussions. OK, now hold up your other piece that should have your moon and your Earth. By the end of the day, the solar eclipse was over. But the knowledge and the memory will last forever. The moon goes around the earth and then it'll go to the sun and then it'll block the sun. So then the eclipse will happen. Students got to keep their eclipse glasses and for Ms. Waller's second grade class, their homework was to go home and explain to their parents what happened during the solar eclipse. In Santa Maria, I'm Fabiola Ramirez, KSBY News. And each school in the Santa Maria Bonita Unified School District decided whether to buy glasses for their students.